What is going on Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs and today I'm going to be opening up the Dawn Wings and the Crossma Premium Collection box. Hopefully you guys did not miss the last opening where I opened up the Dust Main and the Crossma Premium Collection box. Um, like I said in the first video guys, unfortunately I did not get these on time. Uh, they're about a week later on my channel which is... You know, kind of suckish, but I do have to uh, rely on people shipping the stuff over to me. And unfortunately, the uh, store I bought it from uh, made a mistake, didn't send them right away. But it is what it is, no big deal. We were able to open up uh, the other box, which was pretty amazing. Um, I do like the actual design of the box itself. Um, I do have to say, between one and another, the Dawn Wings and the Crossbar looks pretty awesome with the pink or purple blue and the black theme behind it, which is pretty awesome. You do get two promo cards, which are going to be exactly the same on both boxes, which I didn't realize until I'm looking at this uh, now. It is going to be promo 124 and promo 123, which is pretty awesome. And then really the figurine is one of the biggest attractions to this box, as well as the pin right there. We do get a total of five packs real quick in the back. Let's take a look. I didn't actually do this with the other box. But again, it's something that's been out for a while now, so I don't really want to do a quick read on this anymore. Usually if I do get it early or if I get it on time, I do a quick read. Just, um, so, you know, it's something I usually do on my channel anyway. But let me go ahead and open this up real quick for you guys and see what kind of goodies we can get out of this one. Now, out of the uh, last uh, box, I actually was able to get a Greninja GX. So hopefully we can do um, either the same or better on this one. So we'll see what happens. Let's get the contents out of the box real quick here. And um, let me give you guys a quick look at what comes inside the box. And then before I forget, I just want to let you know that the code card winners of yesterday's video are going to be down in the description box below. If you happen to see your name down in the description box below, please get a hold of me on my social media accounts. All the links are going to be down there as well for them. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, Amino Pokemon, Facebook. And if it's easier to send me a message on YouTube, please do so right over here on YouTube. Um, and that means you want some code cards. Today's question of the day is which one is your favorite um, actual, wait, wait, what's, what's this over here? Oh, that's a stand, okay. I was trying to figure out what that was at the end. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite uh, box out of these two so far. I'm going to link the other one up here somewhere. And I'll be selecting three winners for tomorrow's video really quick and easy. Now, I did notice that uh, in this box is you are getting this Pokeball, which is kind of like, okay, it's, it's nice. Um, I don't know what the purpose behind it I mean other than just being a decoration here's the other one that came in the other box um, and I guess for decoration it's pretty cool if you want to maybe hang it on the wall or um, I don't know what else maybe maybe put your figurine on top of it maybe that's what you do I don't know uh, but this is brand new I've never seen this before um, on any product from Pokemon so uh, pretty cool that they're actually giving us something um, else as you know other than the figurine and the pins and stuff like that so I have two of them now um, if somebody knows what they're about or what's going on with that let me know I'm gonna try to do some research on that and um, see what I can come up with but anyway here is um, here are basically both of the promo cards which actually they slip out of the packaging They're very very good um, they have actually managed to put a piece of uh, plastic in between the card and the actual um, outside of the packaging and then you literally all you have to do is just push down on it and the card literally comes right off which is amazing because as you all know pokemon is not the greatest sometimes when it comes to their packaging and a lot of the cards come out damaged from the um, actual um sets which is pretty awesome because these are actually very very nice and i don't need um any like i don't need like two sets of promos so these probably will be going for a giveaway so just so you know they're going to be sitting right over here um i if you guys want to take a look real quick um I've actually went over them on the other um, opening, but there they are right there. Um, they look pretty awesome with the uh, galactic foil on it. Pretty, pretty cool. We do have, of course, the jumbo, very, very big jumbo, um, Dawn Wings and Crossma GX. And what I did notice uh, from uh, this one, I believe I have them. Um, do I have them? I don't think I have another jumbo around here somewhere. I think they're all in my collection binders but i did notice that the um actual cards themselves like the jumbo cards have all this uh galactic uh, galactic hollow pattern on it and uh which none of the uh, jumbo cards in the past have had so which is pretty cool um i like it that they're changing things up and um you know making things different which is amazing anyway here is really what i was after is the uh, dong wings across my um actual figurine it actually looks pretty amazing. Um, that's one thing I always give credit to Pokemon when it comes to their figurines. 
as well as their pins they are actually really really nice very well done very good detailing in them uh, the paint jobs are really amazing although there's a little bit of a uh, paint wash in here which it's okay no big deal and then uh, we do have um, a stand that goes uh, in here so it looks uh, pretty amazing there is that right there and uh, let's go see if we can just put this together real quickly here guys I don't want to waste too much of your time but I do want to keep this um, on the stand just because well I want to display it when I do my video so um, I think it goes back here somewhere and if we can figure it out real quick then we'll just yeah we'll just figure it out some uh, other time I'll do it off camera and then I'll put it back here somewhere um, as you can see the uh, dust main is right over here in the back so it's pretty cool now let's take a look and see what the uh, pin actually looks like which is pretty awesome again it's right there it's a beautiful coloring um, yeah, just really well done pin, which is amazing. All right, we'll go ahead and open up some packs. So we have two Forbidden Light, which is pretty amazing. We have a Breakthrough as well as a Crimson Invasion. And then, of course, um, the newest edition of <laughs> of uh, Pokemon boxes now. It's no longer Evolutions. It's going to be Ancient Origins. Mark my word on that one. I could be completely wrong, but I guarantee you every product for the next, I don't know, maybe six months we'll probably have ancient origins just saying all right so anyway here's the jumbo um right here and we have four packs to op uh, five packs to open up let's go ahead and start with the ancient oranges because why not i mean i like the set it's cool it's got some cool you know cool cards in it um i just don't think it's really relevant to the standard right now um <laughs> so um we'll see what happens i mean I, I mostly play standard so that's what i usually base my opinions on but anyway here is a gummy a whooper ball toy Persian, Magikarp, Lucky Helmet. I remember playing Lucky Helmet. It's just crazy. Just time just flew by. Afro Spirit Link, Kirlia, Ball Toy Reverse Hollow, and that is a um, uh, Ancient Trait card, which is pretty cool. And a Porygon Z, regular rare. So nothing at all. So you guys can see I'm wearing my Lucky uh, rubber band, uh, you know, bracelets here that I got from my um, uh, Top Deck crates box of may if you guys want to go ahead and check that out i'm going to leave the links down below uh, really cool openings actually i love those uh, those uh, subscriptions uh, monthly subscriptions i do have another one coming up for you guys very soon uh, from a different vendor which is pretty cool um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that a piplup chespin bronzor froki vanillish snorlax spuba Magnemite, and that is a reverse hollow, and that's a common and a Noctowl regular rare. So, two for two with nothing. This is exactly how uh, um, we got the same kind of uh, pulls uh, rate on the other box. Um, started pretty awesome, and then all of a sudden, it just like actually it started pretty bad, and then it got really awesome towards the end. That's what I want to say. There's a Crimson Innovation booster pack for one of you guys, and get yourselves a buzz wall. If you do, please let me know, that would be completely awesome. And uh, so far, we've gotten nothing, so you know, nothing really great. So, hopefully, this pack will have something good in it. HI Mecho, Bunnelby, Carablast, Spoink, Selendit, Counter Energy, Fighting Memory, Counter Catcher, a Gorgeist, and that happens to be a Reverse Hollow Rare, and a Gardos GX. Nice. What is up with these boxes and the water Pokemon? On yesterday's box, it was a Greninja GX, and now we have a Gyarados GX, which is pretty awesome. Uh, now, keep in mind, I have been doing, um, lately, I've been doing a little more editing on my videos, and I do um, give you a price count somewhere either here or there. Keep in mind, I've been wanting to say this for a while, but I keep forgetting. Uh, these are prices that I'm giving you as of right now, meaning uh, as of May of 2018. If you watch this video six months from now or even a couple weeks from now or next year the prices are gonna be completely different so because some people have been like well that's not really the price for it and I'm like well at the time of the opening that's what the card was worth it doesn't mean it's going to continue to hold that value um, forever um, just wanted to make sure I bring that out there because um, I do like to give out prices sometimes people have questions about pricing of cards and stuff like that and I do base my prices upon um, you know places like eBay um, or a TCG players really usually where I go after pricing uh, is the best one so far for me at least but I do go to like Troll and Toad and see what they're you know having them for 
Um, so I do a little bit of research. I just don't like go to one place and give you guys a quick price. A nice Fude Glow Canyon uh, Prism Star. Wow, that's really cool. So not too bad. And that is why I love Forbidden Light and Ultra Prism is just because of this Prism Star cards. You can even get one even if you have a green code card, which is pretty awesome. So there we go. I say so far it's pretty good. We have two water Pokemon too. I just realized that. What is going on? All right, Ultra Necrozma pack over here to end things up with and hopefully we can get ourselves a nice decent pull there's a forbidden light for you one of you guys thank you so much for watching and uh, do I really appreciate you guys hanging around and commenting and all kinds of stuff if you guys want to shout out on one of my videos all you have to do is leave a comment down below and then I'll be picking up some random uh, people just to put them up on my videos I do appreciate you guys and that's sort of how I show it other than doing my giveaways and, and just thanking you for being part of the Open TCG's crew. Anyway, a Judge, a Raquanid, Metal Frying Pan, and ID. Oh gosh, I see something in the back. All right, let's just go ahead and pretend we didn't see anything. A Zygarde Reverse Hollow, and that is a rare Reverse Hollow. And a Dialga GX to end up with. Oh my goodness, what a good box this was. So much better than the Dust Main across my. I think we definitely have. A winner when it comes to a battle between one and another just because wow we actually get uh, we actually get two good pulls um, a lot of people do actually count the prism stars as good pulls I do I, I consider them to be ultra rares so if you really think about it that way we did get three ultra rares and did two promo cards as well as a good uh, stash of reverse hollows some rares and uncommons and stuff like that so pretty good box after all um, I'm gonna probably Price it all out over here somewhere and let you know how much this box was worth, at least for the cards I pulled. So if you guys enjoyed the videos and like the way I'm doing things, please give me a thumbs up. If you did not, well, give me a thumbs down and let me know how I can improve things and make them better. But please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because nowadays the notification bell is more important than the subscribe button for us little YouTubers that don't have the over a thousand subscribers yet. But we're getting there soon though, almost 750 at this point. And then I'll be announcing the winner of the uh, Elite Trainer box for Forbidden Light very, very soon. So maybe in the next day or so. So definitely keep in, um, that little bell rung right there so you guys will be notified. And then that's pretty much it. Take care of yourselves. Be listening and watching the Open TCGs. I will talk to you guys in the next one.